Hey everyone, this is Shira from Anima. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a contact form in XD using Anima. Build forms with live text inputs on your website or prototype, allowing your users to fill in relevant details, and you can receive their submissions straight to your email address or download the submissions as a CSV. Text fields include input validation for text, email, password, or numbers. This means that when a user enters information on these text input fields, the browser will validate whether they've entered it correctly. So let's start filling out this form. So as we see, if I try to submit it, I get an alert here telling me to enter a valid email address. I can also choose which fields I want to be required. So if I try to submit this without completing the confirmed password, I'll get this alert to fill out the field. And as you can see, I can define this text input as a password, which is why the characters are not displayed. Great, now let's see how I built this form inside XD. So here we are with my design in XD. And as you can see, I have the Anima plugin open here on the left and I'm logged into my account. So in order to create a form with Anima, we need two things a text input and a submit button. So let's start with the text input. So if I select this text layer here and I go to the plugin, I see under the prototype tag, text input. And since I've already defined this, I can go in and edit it. So as you can see, these are all the options of the validations we have to set. This one's a text and I'm gonna set it as a required field and hit save. The same goes for the email field, only this time, I'm going to define it as an email address. Great. As for the password, since I have two of the same field, I can actually select them together and make sure that these are both set to validate as a password. Required and save. The next step is to define our submit button. So let's select the submit button that we created in XD. And here in our plugin, let's choose submit button. Here you can add an email address where all form entries will be sent to. And you can also add all form entries to a spreadsheet, which we can find later on in our Anima web app to download as a CSV. Then we'll choose which pages we want to be redirected to upon success and failure. For the sake of this demo, we chose the dashboard for both of them. Now let's press save. Once we're happy with our form submit button, we can choose to preview it in the browser and make sure everything looks good. And here's our preview. If you're satisfied with the form, then we can go ahead and sync our project. Now that we've synced our project, it's saved and good to go. We can share our prototype link with our users and receive their live contact form submissions to our email address, as well as a CSV form, which we can find out here. We go back to our project and go to project settings over here, click on prototype link, and if you scroll down, you'll see here form submissions. And here you can download the CSV. So thanks for watching. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and share it. And of course, subscribe to our page so you won't miss any future videos. Thanks.